Using a pentatonic. Now, this is the number one mistake or number one miss that I've, I've seen in all my um, students who come to me. And I'm not making fun of them. It's just they learn off of um, YouTube, really. Okay, it's the end of the video. Just kidding. Um, there's a lot of broken information on the web, and uh, I'm sure you find that a lot. And I'm asking you to trust me, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So using a pentatonic, um, there are rules to doing it. And I have these huge pet peeves when people come in, like, oh, I know my pentatonics, and they play them, and they play them incorrectly. Now, you're probably looking to better your guitar soloing or just understand how this works. So let's just talk about a pentatonic first. A pentatonic, pentatonic, you know this, five notes, okay? So if I have, this goes back to an old college class, which I'm dating myself and rambling, but it's the sock draw, drawer, sock drawer, um, riddle which is if you have five pairs of socks how many times do you need to reach into the drawer to get a pair and the answer is six times you can figure that later it's a riddle figure out later anyway the point being is if you play a pentatonic scale uh, from the beginning you have the first note second note third note fourth note fifth note and that sixth note you come back to the beginning that's the whole point of that riddle disregard that okay but that's uh, very, very important. So what we're going to do is we're not going to use the standard Form 1 pentatonic. We're actually going to use the uh, Form 3, which, by the way, um, Trey Anastasio from Fish, it's one of his favorite uh, uh, forms. It really is. And we can discuss that later. And here is why. Now, first of all, why I have a pet peeve. So let's just talk about a Form 3 pentatonic first off. First off. We're going to do it in the key of E, or uh, E minor for a blues progression right now. So E minor pentatonic. Um, it's going to be the fifth fret, 5, 7. And then five seven, then five seven. Then we take a step back four seven, then come forward on the B string five eight, and then five seven. So you have. And here's the problem. Everybody's like, oh, I understand the form, and they come soloing like in an E, right? And they come out like this. They go wrong. Uh, the most important thing to realize in music, and for fans of Fish and the Grateful Dead especially, is what the concept of home is. And a uh, home, for all of you uh, Fish and Grateful Dead fans, are the moments where the crowd goes, yeah, and we've all been there, all right? So coming home means coming, landing on the note of the chord that is being played. So if I'm in the E blues, um, you want to land on the E. And why is that important? Well, because this scale shape has a couple of E's in it. So let's discuss where they are. So you have five, seven, five, seven. There's one, that's an E. So you don't want to start your pentatonic in the lowest note, which our brains naturally want to go to, like, oh, this is where it starts. It doesn't start here. This is actually just the five notes over and over again, and it's where the cookies crumble. This note is home. So you have five, seven, five, seven, that is your one. You keep going through the scale, and there's your other one. And it's very important, okay, because when you're soloing, um, I'm going to date myself. Uh, we're going to talk about The Wizard of Oz. There is no place like home. So what you want to do is you really want to focus when you're in this uh, pentatonic here. You want to focus your riffs and you actually want to place your first finger on the one. Because <clears throat> no matter what, a one always sounds good. Even when the band is on the four chord, the five chord, or in any other song where the one is the you know root note. So when you're soloing, you don't want to come off on these low notes or these high notes, you want to come off on the one. So when you're playing this four and three pentatonic, you come home to the one. And there's the one there. It will always sound good. And the reason when you use this is sometimes me, you, everyone, we're soloing and our fingers are just going and all of a sudden the moment comes where you want to resolve and you have no idea what to do. So you just go, oh, I hope for the best. But don't do that. Aim for the one. So if you're soloing, the resolve will always be on the one. And that is very, very important. So learn the shape. All those other notes have very important things to do, but the concept right now is coming home to the one and the one. These are both E's in the key of E. That's where we are. So right now, all my backing tracks are actually launched off my phone, which is charging because it's dead. So I'm gonna cut here, come back, and play a little guitar solo on E blues, focusing on the home. I just had a really awesome dinner. All right, bye-bye.
And we're back. And my phone is charged. And there's an E Blues backing track going. Surprise. All right, so what we're going to do here is very, very simple. We're going to use that Form 3 pentatonic. And land on the 1, just like that. Now, I'm going to uh, be a little aggressive and be like, 1, when I hit it, so you can understand. So remember where those positions are. It's the 7th fret of the A string or the 5th fret of the B string. 1. Shut up, and now here we go. See it? it out. So now I'm just kind of breathing and taking my time on this, but if you're ripping, you know, it, it always works. Now, am I overdoing it? Yeah, because I'm trying to give an example. But remember, this is kind of like the Wizard of Oz treatment. There is no place like home, so you've got to learn where your one is. You have to. If not, you're going to be lost. And my job is to have you not be lost. I was going to say set you free, but you can kind of be lost. But you want to be here, on the one. Enough, enough, enough. You get the point, all right? Focus on the Form 3 pentatonic. Know where your, your ones are, all right? And really load up an E Blues backing track and phrase, breathe, you know, say something with a little bit of rhythm and end on the one, all right? So hopefully, I hope this helped you out a little bit. As always, please subscribe, ask the questions. As the questions come in, I will answer them. And more importantly, these, ask the questions that you've already hunted on YouTube. Like, let's have a little, like, trial. I promise you what you think you know, and I'm not trying to sound rude, it's probably a little piece of something that somebody knows, and we don't know how to put it into the whole entire mic well, macrocosm of guitar. So for all you jam band lovers and improvisers out there, uh, please, um, let's, uh, let's form a dialogue and have a good day. I'll play myself out. This is my cat.